Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. The seven amazing benefits of fasting on the brain. Now, there are different types of fasting, such as intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting. Intermittent fasting is where you're eating in a short period of time, about eight hours, six hours, or four hours, or some people will do what we call OMED, one meal a day. So you're basically eating in a very short period or short window of time. Prolonged fasting can be one day, two days, three days, up to five days. Anything up beyond one day, you really want to do a supervised fast so you don't get into trouble. So let's get into the amazing benefits of fasting specifically for the brain. Now, one, it stimulates autophagy and mitophagy. What this means is it clears damaged cells, protein aggregates, things like tau, amyloid, and alpha-synuclein, which are associated with Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. It also helps to clear primed glial cells. Glial cells are what we call glue or immune cells of the brain, and it has a, a big impact on how the brain functions. Now, when it gets primed because you have either abnormal amounts of stress, a concussion, or a chemical insult that impacts the brain, and these glial cells become activated or primed. When it becomes primed, basically it overreacts to stimulus. It can be just a light or it could be a sound and your body will fall apart. So it helps to clear out the primed glial cells. By this clearance process, it basically helps to maintain homeostasis, balance of mitochondria and the cells, okay? It also helps improve insulin sensitivity. Prediabetes and diabetes is, is pretty rampant here in the United States. So being able to improve insulin sensitivity at the cell site helps reduce the incidence of insulin resistance and diabetes. Glucose dysregulation impacts the brain by increasing uh, inflammation also impacts the gut microbiome, which also impact the brain. So there's multifold layers of how insulin impacts our brain. It's also effective in preventing or delaying dementia. Basically, it helps to remove dysfunctional mitochondria. Basically, mitochondria is what produces ATP, or the energy of the cell. Improves synaptic efficiency by improving energy overall. Before we go into the rest of the video, I would like to announce that we will be releasing our educational module that is very comprehensive, which we've spent hundreds of hours developing. We are opening up the waitlist, and I'll link the link below. Number four, repressed mTOR, or mammalian target of rapamycin. It's a key regulator in cell growth and inhibits protein aggregation and increases autophagy. Basically, those tau and alpha-synuclein aggregates, it helps to decrease that as well as increase the clearance, so the autophagy. Number five, stimulates AMPK, regulates energy homeostasis by controlling the uptake of glucose and fatty acids into the cell. Things like berberine, omega-3, and resveratrol have been known to stimulate AMPK. It also increases brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF, supports neuronal health and growth, and improves synaptic connections. So the ability of these neurons to connect and talk to each other is enhanced with BDNF. It also improves mitochondrial biogenesis, basically helps to build new mitochondria. So you think about it, autophagy, mitophagy, clearance of these cells. So your body is stimulated to improve mitochondrial function by increasing biogenesis of the mitochondria. 
it builds better resilience against neuronal damage because you have better energy and better functioning cells. Now, let's make it clear. All these processes occur every day, all day. Fasting enhances the process. So fasting will improve overall brain function. And there's other metabolic factors that we'll go into in our next video. But there, these are the seven benefits that impact the brain. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.